All right, doll, let's take a look outside now over South Bay. Look at those skies. Uh, beautiful blue skies in <laughs> in January, but blue skies don't always mean warm weather. Uh, 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel has been tracking the chill throughout the morning. And uh, Hallie, how cold is it going to get uh, this afternoon or stay this afternoon and get tonight? I know we're looking at teens for wind chills this afternoon. Highs only in the mid 20s, Keenan. Overnight lows, you're going to see some single digits, certainly in the wind chill department. And that's really going to grab the headlines over the next several days. The Arctic air that's in place and the dry weather, too. So what a trade off. We get some vitamin D, but boy, you're going to have to layer up, certainly, to stay warm out there over the next several days. We get to the weekend, we start to notice some changes. Actually, temperatures go up a bit. But with those temperatures going up, unfortunately, it looks like the snow is going to be coming down for those, again, that don't want the snow. Many of us do. So and we've been waiting on that. And we do have that opportunity as we head into Sunday. Right now, looking at temperatures across Metro Detroit, we're at 22 degrees in Pontiac, 23 in Howe. Ann Arbor, you're at 24 and 25 degrees downtown right now. So these temperatures are struggling. 32 is an average high, so we're not even there as we go through the afternoon. In fact, we're about 10 degrees colder than where we were yesterday at this time. So that is fairly substantial. But high pressure, it's Arctic high is what we call it, will be firmly in control. And that's what's going to keep us dry here in the coming day. So we're going to stay dry, but we're going to stay cold. And we're even going to see some sunshine over the next several days too. But look at these temperatures up into Fargo. Four below, that's the air temperature, not even the wind chill. It is 11 in Minneapolis right now, Chicago just behind us at 24 degrees. So that's the cold air that's locked in place through the Great Lakes. As Arctic high pressure continues to ride through the Great Lakes, we stay dry. But look at our wind chills and the teens, as I mentioned, for the afternoon will drop into the single digits. I think areas like Ann Arbor, for instance, your low will likely be in the single digits with closer to zero for a wind chill. So you get the picture. It's going to be cold here in the coming days. Hour by hour forecast shows just a general increase in some high clouds as we Travel through the afternoon into the evening. No problems weather-wise other than that. We clear out again tonight into tomorrow morning. So we'll start with some sunshine tomorrow. And I think it'll be a repeat pattern tomorrow where we'll see more clouds as we go into the afternoon and evening. But we'll stay dry. All the change comes for the upcoming weekend. So we get into about Saturday evening or night at this point. It looks like later on Saturday, the chance for tracking the next storm. Stay with us. This will be a fluid situation. The timeline will change. And, of course, we'll be adding some snowfall amounts that is expected as we get a little closer. But on the northern edge of the system, it could certainly clip us for Sunday. And then the back edge, if it doesn't move out quick enough, we could see some wraparound moisture even for Monday. But our temperatures today, 27 for a high, falling below that average of 32 and 12 in the city. And we know the city tends to be warmer than elsewhere. So count on a frigid start tomorrow, 24 for a high. In fact, Friday the mid-20s, closer to 30 on Saturday. We'll watch for that snow late in the weekend, especially Sunday, maybe even lingering into Monday. Keenan?